Today, we all know Margaret Booth as the mega-rich real estate mogul whose properties range from the macabre to the lox macabre. But her life has been far from fabulous. For a long time, I searched for meaning in all of this. Why me? Why did all these... And then I realized... Why not me? Using a small inheritance. But today, little children frolic and eat funnel cake on the same ground where Manson plotted the murder. Spawn Ranch better? Spawn Ranch with a Ferris wheel. But things aren't all work and no play for this cow. The doctor said the knife missed my heart by millimeters, front and back. When I came out of the coma, I looked up and there she was, my savior. Casey gave his victims ice cream. That's the whole point. I will make that fat fuck's crimes look like a Boy Scout jamboree. There it is. What the fuck, Margaret? If you have a problem with the... I've given you everything, and I can take it all away. You do. You gave up on God. And old habits die hard, and the darkness still whispers. So don't you fuck with me. When I heard you woke up, you've been in my prayers every night. I have to admit, I was a little surprised you wanted to see me. We didn't know each other all that well. I had to see you. Mm. Brooke. People have ways of surprising us, but we're safe now. The jury made sure she can't hurt anyone again. Seems impossible. You remember. OK, how long do I have till the cops show up? They're not coming. I'm fortunate at your disposal. Me. The only way I can make it now. Oh, okay, so this is about money. Hmm. Okay, Trevor, you want to taste my riches? You want a pampered life? There's only one way that's going to happen. You need to stand by my side as my loving. Because, darling, they can't make you testify against your spouse. Where are you going to go? The only valuable asset you have is dangling between your legs, and even that thing is dead weight with all the coke you do. Without me, you're nothing. Thousand dollars for this thing, and it is useless. Just give me the report the old-fashioned way. Come on, come on. These are the first quarter numbers on the Lizzie Borden house. Five times over expectations. Well, maybe over the board's expectations, but not mine. I told them, this house is in the most charming part of Fall River. Let's turn it into a high-end bed and breakfast. We'll have actors in old-timey clothes carrying axes. So once again, who was right? Fucking tootin'. What else do you have? I have my lamp guy making faux human skin shades for every room. What? Um, OK, so they would rather their town remain a boil on the sphincter that is Wisconsin making the trip up there to buy their homemade jams and disgusting beef jerky and bathtub gasoline because my immersive Ed Gein experience gave them a reason to make the trip? They think it's morbid. It's fallen through in the last few months. Bullshit! We are just beginning. Murder has always sold well. Oh, this is just a disaster. This is the best news we've gotten in years. I want to baptize this place. I've secured an all-star. Well-paying few can stay in the actual cabins where the massacres took place. Uh, Call our 800 number as soon as you can because our VIP members have already bought 80% of our tickets during our special pre-sale. Aren't you? <gasps> A fucking bore is what it was. They really should bring back the guillotine. I would have paid good money to see her head roll. That girl was already wrong in the head. I just needed to give her a little push. I didn't think it was possible, but it looks worse than I even imagined. What have you been doing? You Slice of Wonder Bread and a Dixie cup of water. You can't do that, Margaret. People are paying $1,000 a head. That's how I make a profit, asshole. And don't you contradict me. Remember who you are. I'm your husband. You're a glorified assistant with... I know. The boys' restroom is covered in pine needles. Why don't you take that pendulum you call a dick? It'll be good for something, hmm? Who are you? Oh, that's Kaja Gugu, you idiot. It's the only song anyone wants to hear. Wait, just one song. What are you doing? I'm, I'm gonna go sweep up. Okay. 
Right, so then you would know when something bad happens, I like to be the first to hear it. Yes? What the hell did it take so long for you to tell me that one of our headlining acts, they're dead? Courtney, Kaja Gugu is dead! I on you to keep your cool when something very important happens. We have to call the police. They'll want to collect evidence, probably seal off the camp. You're going to make this nightmare disappear. You're going to get yourself a roll of plastic sheeting, a box of garbage bags, a pair of good rubber gloves, and a sharp butcher's knife. And you are going to get rid of all of these bodies. You're going to cut them into little tiny pieces. Oh, everything is going to be OK, Courtney. Everyone is still coming. What the fuck? Who the hell is this? We've had a mutual admiration and a deep sexual attraction. I would have slaughtered Jingles. But I need something from you both. I have a plan, and I think you'll approve. I need all the killers I can get. You're Margaret Booth. You two are together. Well, I don't know what she told you, but anything is too much. Me? I can make... No, that's not a plan, because it has no purpose. I want to do something that will change the world. Morrison's grave. The archway at the Dakota where John Lennon was shot. Places just to feel a connection to the artists they love. Well, we're going to give that to them. We're going to kill every musician that's coming for the festival. The Go-Go's. People are going to pay to come here. We're going to make Camp Redwood the mecca for 80s music memoriam. And I am going to make a fortune. I'm supposed to be here 45 minutes ago. You're my attorney. I want you to call their reps and find out why they haven't shown. We have signed contracts, yes? We'll see to it that those contracts are executed, because if they aren't, you will be. Wait, does that mean I don't? I don't care about And spit it out. He's blocked the road. He's turning people around, sending them away. I think he's trying to shut us down. He'd be doing that. And he roots for your failure. You are the world's worst assistant. Clean this up. I have something I have to go deal with. What the hell are you doing? That wasn't me. I'm supposed to be afraid of that knife because you had no moral objection to when it paid for your Porsche 928 and enough coke to keep an elephant up for a week. And I let myself be corrupted by that evil. And it has freed me. I'm going to the authorities. Trevor, darling. People can run for me, but they never get away. I saw you rolling around with that truck stop Cindy Lauper. Yes, I will. You're not in Camp Redwood anymore. You're on the other side of the property line. So if you die here, dead is all you'll ever be. And you will never see that bitch again. Thanks for nothing, fuckface. No, 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 I cannot wait any longer. I need someone to come. I need someone to move that bus right now. Hello? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Hello? Junior, find your father? I can take you to him. Not everyone can find him, but we have a long history. Okay. Don't see your father. I don't care. Well, technically I died a second before the chipper spit me out on the other side, so I've been here all along. Don't you get it? This is how it has to be. I win. I am the final girl. I am always the final girl. He's innocent. Please, there is no such thing.